Hello and welcome to the Exploration 101 or the Introduction to Exploration. This little series will cover the basic topics you need to know in order to start your exploration uh, career in Evil Line and start earning some ESC with pretty low risk at first and for sure pretty low ESC uh, required to start. So this video alone will talk about the types of sites you will encounter in EVE Online while exploring and the next ones will cover topics such as equipment you need to get in order to start exploring, the skills that are required and how uh, does the scanning as well as hacking, which is the main uh, part of exploration, works. So let's get right into it. First rule of EVE says that you should not fly something you cannot afford to lose. That's why exploration is a pretty good thing to start with because one decent haul there can pay for the next 30 lost ships. Because the exploration ships can be dirt cheap when you start the game. <clears throat> so, how do we get into that? First of all, you need to know that there are two types of sites you will encounter in New Eden. Cosmic Anomalies and Cosmic Signatures. And Cosmic uh, Signatures are the things you will need to scan. So that will be the your point of interest. While Cosmic uh, <coughs> Anomalies are basically just sites that you uh, see immediately in your uh, in space there are multiple uh, so multiple types of cosmic signatures each serving a specific purpose and how do we start finding them first way to do it is to go over to the scanners window and choose probe scanner it is uh, by default set to alt q uh, alt p excuse me but you can re rebind it to alt q which i found to be way easier for me. You can do it by going to uh, the main menu, hitting escape, shortcuts, and if you look for probe, you will see the probe scanner window tab and you can rebind it to whatever you want. So do it manually or doing it through a shortcut will open the uh, probe scanner window together with the system map. At first, as you can see, this is one is docked inside the system map, however, I do prefer to do it uh, to undock it and keep it on the side so that I can have the whole window for myself. And as you can see here, we have some cosmic anomalies, which are combat sites in low sec, null sec. They can be ore sites as well, but we do not need them, so I will ignore them for now. So, what are the cosmic signatures that you see over here? They can be one of a few things: wormholes. Those function the same way as stargates that you use to jump between systems. Except they have they are not permanent structures, they will expire or collapse if enough ships pass through them. They have a set of traits governed by the wormhole type in their name once you arrive at the site and they will be covered by me uh, if I get to that uh, in a separate series because wormholes are a pretty big subject. Second thing that you can find is the relic and data sites. Those are the bread and butter of exploration. That's where you get your loot. <clears throat> the important thing you need to know about relic data sites is the types of them that you can encounter. And those are pirate sites. Uh, they usually have a prefix of local, crumbling, central, and then a reference to a pirate faction in games or Serpentis, Sancha, Grista, uh, Blood Raiders or Angel. Those are safe and unguarded. The only thing you need to worry about is other players trying to hunt you, which in high security space, high sec, will usually not happen. However, in low sec or null sec, they might be trying to catch you. So you will need to uh, look out for that. <clears throat> Secondly, there are sleeper sites. So limited, standard or superior sleeper cache. Those are special sites that have both relic and data uh, cans that you will need to hack 
and then they contain uh, timed events, traps, and are generally very tough to go through. However, they are very rewarding because that risk uh, comes with an upside. Uh, you can get blue loot, which is something you can sell in the market for into NPC buy orders that are always there in Concord and DED stations, <clears throat> as well as uh, it, they can contain modules uh, for uh, blueprints for modules that you can then make and some of them are not great they are uh, so-called storyline mission modules but some of them can be worth a fortune so you can get pretty good isk in there however you will need uh, close to max skills and uh, a lot of knowledge so the first thing you need to do before you go into them is google them find them on evwiki read or find another YouTube video on how to run through them without dying. And the third type of site you will encounter is covert research facilities. Those are data sites which are unguarded but only for a time. When you arrive at the site, a hidden timer will start. Uh, you cannot trigger that timer, but by being cloaked, the lo uh, as if you warp in cloaked, you are not triggering the timer. Only when you uncloak that happens. When the timer expires, pirates will appear and will almost always destroy your ship. The other thing is that failing a hack within those sites will explode the can you were at and kill your ship as well. Regular uh, data and relic sites do not destroy your sorry do not destroy your ship. They only disappear when you fail the can twice. It just blows up, but you take no damage. So with those covered research facilities, you have to be fast and have a steady hand. And if you think you're taking too long, finish your current hack and leave with what you have. It's better to leave with the loot that you have than getting greedy and blowing up. So I do recommend getting into those sites, but only after you get some experience with exploration and hacking uh, in particular. And last but not least, you have gas sites. Those five spawn in low sec, null sec, and wormholes. Each location have their own rules. Uh, for example, low sec sites do not have usually uh, any pirates in them, so you can get gas and uh, and easily get some good isk. Null sec and wormhole sites do have gas, uh, do have gas, and uh, will have some enemies. Null sec at the start usually and wormholes after a 20 minute timer which was also hidden uh, they will have enemies spawn and try to hunt you down at which point you have to get out and all of these cannibal sites uh, are divided into several levels as well if we unignore all of them you don't see any levels here but once we go to the section with uh, about scanning you will see certain levels over here when we try to scan them down uh, those site levels go from one to five and they just govern the difficulty or the scan strength you will need in order to get them scanned down so that will be it for the uh, first part of the series and i hope to see you in the next one